guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in great so today is a bit cold so i'm wearing like a lot of things it's it's, it's very bad guys hopefully you're staying warm you're in bed drinking coffee and you're all right right so today i'll be talking about all things healthy hair so what is healthy hair Healthy hair in simple terms means that your hair is a balance of your protein and moisture in it, right? The very same way your, your body needs a certain amount of calcium, all these nutrients, your hair needs a certain amount of protein and moisture in it, right? So that means you have a good balance of both, that means you have healthy hair. There are three signs of healthy hair, according to me. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but these are three signs that I've noticed. One um your hair is less likely to break now breakage varies per person not really per person but a certain amount of breakage that you might have that really you don't have to worry about like it doesn't mean just because of your hair breaks like just a little bit doesn't mean that you have to you don't have healthy hair the minute you have a lot of hair breakage that means that's when you're like what's going on you need to be alert and start doing the right things so if your hair is healthy your hair is not it's not gonna break much can break a little bit a little bit of shading but it's not a lot but when you have too much breakage um you need to do what your hair needs right the second sign of healthy hair is, which is my favorite actually it's your hair is elastic so our hair is k so the minute you're saying your hair is healthy and has everything that it needs that means your hair is at a point where it's sitting the way it's supposed to sit so it's curly and its curls and curls are actually defined and proper and the minute your curls are defined and proper they're elastic right elasticity just means like when you want to demonstrate my hair when you pull your hair back it comes back quickly right so the quicker your hair comes back the more healthy it is like you can see with mine it's not that quick but it's getting there so i genuinely love playing with my hair when i'm bored i just like <laughs> so beautiful that's the magic of health kelly hair right that's the second sign the third sign is <sighs> i don't like this i genuinely do not like this the third sign is shrink cage like i said our hair is k so the minute your hair is healthy that means it's sitting at its natural kelly state and its natural kelly state does not actually um show length a lot right because you can see with my hair it's it's a little bit stretched but the natural length is about this long right but the minute your hair can sit at its actual state, that means its curls are strong enough to be defined as it was strained on your hair. And yeah, so it shrinks easily. For some people's hair, it doesn't shrink as easily as others. But the more your hair shrinks, that means it's more healthier, right? Like I did my protein treatment a month ago. And before, I was able to stretch my hair to its full length. Right now... Yeah, guys, like I've been fighting this battle. This is the longest it has ever been. Okay, I think on my previous video is a bit longer than this, but yeah, it has. I feel like the lot before I did my protein treatment, I could at least I could stretch it at least to this length without using any heat. So at this point, if I wanted to shrink even more, I have to use heat, and which is a no no for me because it's gonna cause a lot of heat damage and my clothes will not with strain and already out it'll cause breakage like it's just a lot of me so no to heat so far because I, I did a lot of heat um in december yes yes, yes. so it's six months ago so until i told myself I'll, I'll stretch my hair again using heat december so it's been like once a year so the quicker your hair shrinks or the faster it comes back and shrinks means that your hair is healthy but you if your hair is less likely to shrink or doesn't shrink much one could mean that your color pattern is not um probably type 3 or type 2 but if you are type 4 your hair is going to shrink more than usual so if your hair shrinks more that means you're good your hair is healthy but it's not if it's not shrinking that much or it's just shrinking a little bit you might need you might need to start doing all the right things to your hair 
right I, I, I like i said i don't like it but i'm learning to embrace it like i'm honestly learning to embrace my shrinkage i think on monday or on tuesday monday and tuesday i went to work with my hair i at its full shrinkage stage i felt like i looked weird but i told myself that i need to start doing it one because of it's windy outside it's cold and when your hair is stretched out, it means your curls, your ends are more exposed to the cold weather. Cold, ah, cold weather, right? So, but then when your hair is in shrinkage, it means that your curls, your ends are tucked in your hair. So then they're not necessarily completely protected, but to some extent, they are more protected than when it's actually stretched. Hopefully, that makes sense. Wow. The best benefit or the greatest benefit of having healthy hair just means that um you are finally going to see some length in your hair you're going to see some growth in your hair you're going to see some volume because like i said the first sign of having healthy hair means that your hair is less likely to break right now everybody's hair um grows every single month so it varies per person and genetics plays a huge role like for me i I'm not one who is blessed with good genetics, hair genetics, so my hair grows a little bit slow than others. But because I'm able to maintain it and keep it healthy, I can see growth, right? The reason, just simplified, is that um, with your hair growing and your hair breaking, if your hair breaks more than your hair grows, right that you won't see any length that's when you're gonna start seeing my hair is not growing there's nothing happens right now it's because of your hair is growing every month but it's breaking more than it's actually growing so you need to maintain a level where it says yes it breaks but the level it grows needs to be higher than the level it breaks so that you can start seeing some volume on your hair and some seeing some length so that's the greatest benefit of having healthy hair so if you want to struggling to have like a really defined afro with huge volume or see some length in your hair and you blame like i used to blame on genetics which i still do but i've noticed that the more i treat it the more i start seeing some um progress in my hair so start making sure that you give your hair all the treatment that it needs right now whether you have like a, the definition said um you need to have a good balance of your protein and moisture. The reason of why I was not exact that you need this amount and this amount of moisture is... Okay, I just said something in the house. I'm so scared. Okay, it was nothing. Okay, back to business. The reason of why I'm saying you need to have this amount of... Um, I didn't specify on that is because of the level of protein that you need and moisture depends on, firstly, your hair porosity. Do you have high, low, or medium porosity your cal pattern right so do you have 4b 4a 4c uh, 3a 3c and that depends on that determines whether you're gonna need to do your protein treatment two or three times a month or i don't know like there's a lot of things right but you need to determine, determine those first thirdly your hair is yours like even i know i'm low porosity right and they send to do my protein treatment every two to three months um, but I need to fill my hair as well. The reason of why they're saying two to three months and they were not exact on every two months, every three months is because of your hair's going to tell you itself. Um, maybe after three months, my hair's going to say, I need protein treatment. But after two months, like, uh, I'm still fine. Or after two months, they say, no, I need it now. Like, fill your hair with protein treatment. Protein treatment just makes your curl stronger. So if your curls are strong and your hair is strong, um, it's less likely to break. So you just feel your curls and notice how they feel. Most of the treatment, I feel like everybody can see that their hair is dry and needs some attention to it. So you need to start applying creams on it, oils, do your leg method more often than others, do your, pro your moisture treatment more often than others or less often than others depend on your hair porosity because some porosity does not want you to do too much um moisture you're gonna have product break um i can't forget this term it's product built up and with product built up your hair is gonna break <laughs> so now you have too much so you need to fill your hair as well so as much as yes your hair purse is gonna tell you you need to do maybe an average of this your hair type maybe an average of this but you need to be able to know your hair like 
pay close attention to your hair and what works for your hair what might work for my hair may not work for your hair you need to know and understand what your hair needs and that is the best advice i could ever give you like as much as there's porosity and everything know your hair fill your hair um look how your hair looks is it breaking does it look more does it like moisture it's like protein um so just study that and you'll be fine i hope you learned something i know it's, it's a bit um too much information but i was trying to break down a lot of things that um pay attention to having your hair healthy without telling you specifically that you need to do this because that's a whole long video so i didn't want to do that hopefully you enjoyed you learned something if you have more questions on it you can comment down and i'll try to answer you guys as much as possible please subscribe and like the video bye